It's all words. It's all sound bites. I built an unbelievable company. Some of the greatest assets anywhere in the world, real estate assets anywhere in the world, beyond the United States, in Europe, lots of different places. But I take advantage of the laws of the nation. A company controlled by Donald Trump secretly did business in Castro's Cuba. It acted in 1998 despite American trade bans that made such business illegal. That's according to interviews with former Trump executives, internal company records, and court filings. Trump's company indirectly spent $68,000 when spending required U.S. approval. Money was not paid directly from Trump's company, but through a consulting firm. That company was Seven Arrows Investment and Development Corporation. Records show Seven Arrows told Trump executives how to make it appear legal. Seven Arrows said they should link the work after the fact to a charitable effort. Trump reps met with Cuban officials to explore opportunities for his casinos. The payment came just before Trump launched his first presidential bid. Trump first ran for president in 1999, seeking the Reform Party nomination. On the first day of his campaign, Trump vowed to maintain the embargo. Trump also vowed never to spend money in Cuba while Fidel Castro was in power. I've had a lot of offers, and sadly, it's all been very recently, to go into Cuba on deals, business deals, real estate and other deals. And I've rejected them on the basis that I will go when Cuba's free. As you know, and the people in this room know better than anyone, putting money and investing money in Cuba right now doesn't go to the people of Cuba. It goes into the pockets of Fidel Castro. He's a murderer, he's a killer, he's a bad guy in every respect, and frankly, the embargo against Cuba must stand if for no other reason than if it does stand, he will come down. Trump Hotels had already spent money sending consultants to conduct business in Havana. Richard Fields, then principal of Seven Arrows, did not return calls seeking comment. Trump campaign and Trump organization officials have not responded to our emails seeking comment and more documentation.